Uni Calibration and Operation. In this video, we'll show you how to calibrate a Uni monitor using a carbon monoxide sensor as an example. Turn it on by pushing the right key and let it go through the startup cycle. Once the unit is turned on, hold down both keys for a few seconds to enter the program mode. When it asks for the password, use the left key to increment the digits and the right key to move the cursor. The default password is 0000. Then when it, the last option is the button up to top flashing, hit OK. The air is the zero. Push the left key to start the countdown for 15 seconds. When the countdown is complete, it should say pass or fail and set the value of the 0 to 0. Then it asks for the span. To calibrate, use the provided calibration adapter and attach it to the gas cylinder of carbon monoxide using a regulator with flow of 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 liters per minute. 0 0.3 liters per minute or 300 cc's per minute is adequate and gives saves gas. Connect the calibration adapter by pressing it onto the sensor. When the span question mark is flashing, turn on the gas and push the left key to initiate the span calibration, which in this case takes 45 seconds. When the countdown nears the end, the unit should stop at zero and tell you whether it's pass or fail. You can exit by pushing the right key several times until the menu says exit. Then push the left key, return to the normal readings, and see the concentration is close to the span value. Alternatively, you can just let the unit sit for a minute and it will exit automatically. Turn off the gas and remove the probe. The second time the unit is turned on into program mode by holding down the two keys, it does not ask for a password. It goes directly into the program mode. You can skip through the menus by pushing the right key. It's always a good idea to check the span setting, this is the high setting, the low alarm setting, the stealth setting, the TWA setting, and the calibration setting. There's cal and the question mark. Hit the enter key. It says 50 ppm, which is what matches our gas. If we had a different concentration, like 52 or 60, we could increase the number that way. And then press the right key. OK will be flashing. Hit the left key to accept, and it will save automatically. Then you can use the right key to scroll through all the other values, uh, vibration setting, power on zero, fast setting, etc., and hit exit. Or just wait for a minute, it will automatically exit. You can set alarm limits in the same way as you set calibration values. Here, select the low value. If you don't like the 30 ppm alarm limit, move the cursor to the right. Use the left key to increase or increment the value. When you're satisfied, move the cursor to the right. When it flashes OK, hit the left key to accept. It will save automatically. Use the manual to go through all of the other menu items to set them as you desire. From the main menu, you can cycle through some basic information using the right key. First you see the STEL value, next the TWA value, which happens to be zero, then the peak value since the unit was turned on. The only way these values can be reset to zero is to turn the unit off and back on. 
Next we see the alarm event. The first one happens to be 48 ppm, a low alarm. Cycle through them using the left key. The second alarm event is 50 ppm. The third alarm event is 101 ppm. Up to 10 alarm events can be stored this way or displayed. Up to 50 can be stored, but beyond 10, they must be viewed through Empower Suite using a docking box. Finally, you can test the function of the alarms and the vibrator at any time from the main menu simply by pressing the left key once.